So Israel has a twofold immigration problem these days. First of all, there's refugees uh, from Sudan uh, that are in the country, and there's been a lot of uh, agitation over that. Uh, you know, Israelis uh, protesting, marching, sometimes yelling at Sudanese women um, and men, and, and calling them a lot of bad words. Uh, basically say, Sudanese, go home, you're not welcome here, you're criminals. In one instance, shouting at them, you're whores, etc. Now, of course, is there an irony there? Israel was created because nobody would take in the Jews during the Holocaust. So that seems like an excellent justification, and the one that is used most often, understandably so, right? Now, the Sudanese have not been treated well not just in Sudan, the ones that are fleeing, but also in Egypt and other Muslim countries as well. And a lot of them are Christian, and they're fleeing because they're being persecuted because of religious reasons. Now, you would hope that of all the countries in the world, Israel would understand that best. But that's actually the least of their immigration problems. They also have 130,000 Ethiopians. Now, in this case, the Ethiopians are Jewish, so it doesn't really matter. It's a Jewish state, so uh, they should be welcome, right? Well, not exactly. The health ministry has just admitted that they were doing forced sterilization of Ethiopian women, even though they're Jewish, as they were coming into the country. Now, thank God the sterilization is not permanent, but it did last for a long time. In fact, over the last 10 years, the birth rate among Ethiopians in Israel has dropped by 50%. Now, you don't have to speculate as to why, as I just told you, Israel's health minister has admitted they did the program, and in fact he sent out a note saying not to renew prescriptions for Depo-Provra for women of Ethiopian origin if for any reason there is concern that they might not understand the ramifications of the treatment. I don't think the issue was that they didn't understand the ramifications of the treatment. The issue was as they were coming in they were told they had to get that shot. Sometimes they were lied to and said, oh yeah, it's a vaccination and it's uh, going to help you with your health. One of the women that were interviewed, the 30 different ones saying the same thing, uh, was uh, saying, quoted as saying, quote, they told us they are inoculations. They told us people who frequently give birth suffer. We took it every three months. We said we didn't want to. Look, Israel is not the only country with racism. I mean, look at the United States of America. We had slavery here, and uh, problems of racism still exist in this country, as well as many other countries. But that is un really embarrassing. I mean, if you're going to be a Jewish state and then you do this to fellow Jews, what, just because they're African? Because they're black? Oof. The people of Israel should be livid over that. And I wish they were also livid over the Sudan situation. Unfortunately, a poll out is really frightening. 52% uh, of Israelis say, that uh, African asylum seekers are, quote, a cancer. That's 52%, that's the majority, and one-third of Israelis said that they support violent attacks on Africans seeking asylum. That is a terrible number, terrible. <sighs> There's a lot that could be improved upon in all the different countries in the world, including the U.S. But that's something that Israel definitely needs to work on, Young Turks.